We all know that anime food is some of the most mouth-watering sights known to mankind. But have you ever met anime food's often ignored younger brother, game food? Some games use food as a tool to level health and generate buffs, while others just like to tease us with tasty visuals as we proceed in the storyline. Characters have to eat too, we suppose. This list compiles 10 iconic game foods that had us mouth-watering and or curious about how they would taste in real life. Warning, the images you're about to see are likely to make you hungry. So grab a snack and let's check them out. It does feel like cheating to put a cooking game on this list. But at the same time, there was something really special about Cooking Mama. In this game, you chopped, grilled, and fried all sorts of dishes. And that was the whole point of the game. You cook. There are plenty of YouTube videos where people have tried following Mama's recipes step by step in their own kitchens. But somehow, they never look quite as good as the virtual versions. Okay, hear us out. Since 1980, Pac-Man has roamed screens, risking his life for these dots. They don't look particularly tasty. Come to think of it, they don't look like food at all, really. But when Pac-Man chomps them down the way only Pac-Man can, we start to wonder, what makes these dots worth risking your life for? Why are there so many? And why do the ghosts try so hard to protect them? These tantalizing dots have only made it onto our list simply because we wish to understand. Why, Pac-Man? Why do you chase these dots? Are they sweet? Salty? Do they melt in your mouth? Or are they soft and squishy? We just want to know. In other words, our desire for Pac-Man dots to be a real food is fueled by curiosity. Dark Souls 3 is dark, dreary, and everything is out to kill you. You fight your way through areas, struggling against corpses and skeleton dogs. You trudge through the hell that is Farron Keep and roll through Lothric Castle, your only saving grace, bonfires and Estus flasks. Estus is the sweet, sweet juice of life. That drink that saves you from losing your souls at the worst spot. Estus is the light you turn to when all seems lost. It's what fuels you to just keep going until you find the next bonfire. At first glance, this drink doesn't seem at all appetizing, but play the game long enough and you'll start wondering what this magic golden drink could possibly taste like. The cake is a lie. We all know that. But what if it wasn't? At the end of Portal, we see the supposed cake and well, it looks delicious. Check out recipes online and most will claim that the cake is a black forest. But we would like to think it's a cleverly disguised red velvet because red velvet is clearly the superior cake. As much as we would like to think that the cake is perfectly delicious and a worthy reward for all the experiments you were put through, there's a good chance that's not the case. If GLaDOS had anything to do with that cake, it's probably just a cleverly disguised stale fruitcake. Sonic is a fast and hyperactive hedgehog. This means he must require a lot of food to burn every time he speeds off. Apparently, chili dogs are his fuel of choice. He references chili dogs in various games and is seen munching away at them in the series. Chili dogs are horribly unhealthy, very filling, and probably wouldn't inspire you to go speeding off straight after. But they do look delicious, and that's what put them on this list.
Considering the whole point of Monster Hunter World is to go out and kill giant monsters, we assume that hunters need a good hearty meal to fuel them on their missions. And boy, do these meals look intense. Hunters can order up a variety of plates, all of which are served by the lovable Palico chefs, who prepare your meal in a flurry of showmanship. Speaking of fast, we're still impressed that hunters and their palicos managed to devour the platter so quickly, considering that their plate was a giant pile of fat, protein, and carbs. We don't blame them, though. Food in Monster Hunter World looks fantastic and leaves us craving a good meat skewer. In Persona 4, players can visit the Chinese restaurant Aya. Visit this place on a rainy day, and you can take part in Aya's rainy day special, 3,000 yen mega beef bowl challenge. This bowl is so beefy, so big, and it truly poses a challenge for your character. Your character suspects this bowl is a portal to the meat dimension. This beef bowl is stacked with so much meat. The game indicates that you must have understanding of your limits, knowledge to control your pace, courage to face this unrelenting tide of beef, and the diligence to persevere against this colossal challenge. Which of course makes us wonder, how big is this beef bowl really? Persona 4 doesn't give us a good look at this magnificent sounding bowl, but someone made an an animated version of the scene, and me oh my, does this bowl look delicious! So, there are plenty of folks who aren't big mushroom fans. So maybe Mario mushrooms don't appeal to you. They're colorful, they bounce, and they turn Mario into his bigger, stronger self. Clearly these mushrooms have superpowers. And this game food is on this list for that exact reason. Imagine eating a mushroom and then going super size. Or even better, imagine if these mushrooms unlocked a unique ability per person. Mario mushrooms probably don't even taste like regular mushrooms. They probably taste more like candy. The salty sweet kind. There's no logic behind this. It's just how we like to imagine them being. It has to be said. The food in this game gives anime food a run for its money. The dishes in this game look almost realistic and have players' stomachs growling. Even something as simple as cup noodles looks better than it could ever taste in real life. Whoever worked on the food in this game was clearly passionate about eating. Even dishes that you might not typically enjoy are tempting. The food in this game looks so good that fans of the game banded together to create a Final Fantasy XV cookbook, complete with all sorts of recipes from the game. Oh, Toriel, you sweet, sweet goat lady. You took us in and smothered us with motherly love and overprotective warnings. Did we heed your warnings? No, we didn't. But gamers around the world let out a collective aww when you left us a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Did that stop certain people from brutally murdering you? No. But it did leave us all wondering what the delightful pie would taste like in real life. Considering how lovely and homey Toriel makes us feel, we assume that she made that pie with utmost care. This pie has to be soft and sweet, buttery and oh so warm. We want to try a piece of that pie almost as much as we want to give Mama Toriel a giant hug. All right, now we're hungry. Are there any game foods you think we missed out on? Let us know in the comments. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell.